Hey guys, what's up? Yet another video on how to possibly mount a moving head on top of a tripod. Now, I've already done two videos on this, and if you look in the description box, I'll put a link to both of those videos. One, I made a homemade apparatus, and another one, I used the LTS-6 system from American DJ, which worked really nice. The only problem with the LTS-6 is that it's not going to support a heavier light, like a bigger moving head. And a lot of people pointed out that there was some wobbling in the last video with the Vizi LED spot, and I agree. Not really a heavy duty tripod, light duty tripod, but it's going to work great for smaller moving heads like the Xmove LED or the Mint Spot from Chauvet, or you can even put a Moonflower on top of it like a Revo 2, Revo 3, Revo 4, Revo Rave, whatever you got. Cool idea, but maybe not a great idea for the Vizi spot LED or any bigger moving head, maybe 20, 30, 40 pound moving head. A lot of people can't put big box trussing into their vehicles. I know I can't fit big box trussing into my vehicle and I have a big vehicle. A lot of people can't afford box trussing and we've got Scrim King now, which are these beautiful Lycro tripod covers that we can uplight and make really cool. So it's compact, affordable and very functional and very neat looking, very elegant. So here's a heavy duty tripod. This is actually one of the tripods from the Duratrust system. It's a crank tripod. Very, very, very solid and will hold a lot of weight. Let's explore an option that actually Uptown Express or DJ Stefan from Canada gave me an idea and he wants to see if it's going to work and if it works he wants to buy all of this stuff and put it into his mobile system. Let's take a look at how the Duratrust tripod is supposed to be used and then we'll go ahead and we'll mount a moving head onto it. Here's what this tripod was made for. Duratruss. What you're supposed to do is put a tripod on either side of your DJ system or wherever you want to set up a trussing system. Take your Duratruss and stick it right in this bracket that's attached to the top of the tripod. Then you take these little pins and you stick them in these holes. And there you go, you got a trussing system. You can hold tons of weight on this thing. If you need a heavy duty truss, Dura Truss is great stuff. And it's portable and it's solid as a rock. So let's go ahead and take this bracket off the top and do a little modification and see if we can't get a moving head mounted onto this thing. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove this bracket. So there's a giant wing nut up here with a screw attached to it. Just twist that off. and off goes the bracket. It's a big fat washer we're going to go ahead and leave up here. We're going to use it for what we're going to put together today. Here's the bracket for the Vizi. We can put that on top and stick this screw back in, but I'm not going to screw it in because I've already tried this. It's a little too tall. It's about a quarter of an inch too tall to clear the moving head once it's mounted on the bracket. So we're going to have to use something a little different. You can go to the hardware store take this with you and match it up to a screw with the same thread and uh, you don't need one as long obviously this one I got out of the LTS-6 system works perfect stick it in the hole screw it in to the thread of hole that's already in this tripod And you're going to want to tighten it up a little bit. A 17 millimeter will do that for you. I said 7 millimeter in the last video. I was wrong. It's a 17. I make a lot of mistakes in my videos, so please forgive me. You could use a socket wrench, or maybe you could go to the hardware store and get some kind of wing nut thing that's not as deep. Might be kind of clever. So now we've got the bracket mounted onto the tripod. Let's go to the next step. I was trying to figure out the best way to get Scrim King to work on here because there's really nothing to hook it to. So this is what I came up with. You put Scrim King on up here over this bracket before you stick the moving head on the top. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your moving head up there. It has handles on the sides, so you move, take your moving head, you set it on top, and get it lined up with these little lockdown nuts, and there you go. And of course your next step is cranking it up. Now you can go as high as you want to go with this thing, I think up to 10 feet. I don't know what nine foot ceilings in this house. I could definitely stick this moving head through my ceiling if I wanted to. That's pretty high right there. I'm going to actually uh, bring it down a little bit. A 
about there, there's a nut right here on the Duratrust crank stand that you can tighten down to secure the pole so it doesn't go back and forth like, like this. You just crank it down so there's no movement and that thing's on there good and solid. And I think the verdict here is it works great. There's no sway at all with this Duratrust tripod. There's none of this like you saw on the LTS-6. Now, again, the LTS-6 I think is going to be a beautiful solution for you guys out there who want to mount a Moonflower or an X-Move LED. Smaller fixture, but for a 20-pound moving head with that much torque, you need something a little more heavy-duty, and the Duratrust crank tripod definitely does the job. Stefan, Uptown Express, thanks for the idea. Brilliant idea. And I had all the parts. I was able to put it together for you, and I hope you like my solution. Now, for me, this crank stand, this Duratrust tripod, is too heavy for me. It's about 40 pounds. I don't want to lug around 40 pound tripods. But, having said that, if I was using a moving head any bigger than the Vizzy, I think that would be my only solution. There's one more idea I've got. I've got parts ordered for it, and they're on their way. I ordered them last night when I was in the DJ booth, and quite frankly, there was nothing to do when I had an internet connection. So hopefully they'll be in in a couple of days. And when they come in, I'll show you how they might work for what I want to do with the Scrim King and a moving head on a tripod. Poor Man's Totem, part three. Hope you liked it. Once again, thanks to Uptown Ex thank you to Uptown Express for the idea. We'll see you next time. Let us know what you think. Practice and enjoy.